Welcome! I will talk about the ends of ropes and demonstrate two unique ways of doing loops that you only can do when making ropes on a reel like I showed in my previous video. But first I will talk about simple ends. All modern ropes bought in a store are made using a rope walk or cut and the ends must be secured as not to unravel. This is normally done by whipping like this, but it can also be done using a knot or a splice. But the ends of ropes made on the reel can have ends that look like this. The ends simply end up like this and they will not unravel. They can either have the ends of fiber sticking out like this, or one end can look extra neat like this. But you can also end a rope with a loop. The normal way of doing them on a cut rope is doing an eye splice. That is when you form a loop and then interweave the strands back into the rope. But when making the rope on a reel, you can also have two other medieval types of loops. They can look like this or this. Remember that the rope is formed by just one yarn that is folded to make all the strands. This shows how the yarn loops around. Either or both ends can have these loops. The material is not important, but I will show it using bast, but you can just as well use hemp or whatever this is. I have a prepared yarn and will be making very short ropes just to show the different loops. The first kind of loop is made by forming the yarn into a circle and then twist the yarn around it. When reaching the starting point, you continue making a two-stranded rope, just like normal. And when reaching the end, you turn around and make the third strand. And when that strand reaches the loop, you go around it, forming a third strand. Then fasten the strand by worming it as a fourth strand. Taper it if you want the fourth strand to disappear and the end can be hidden as a heart inside the rope. This way looks really nice, but is harder to make on a long rope. The second method is a lot simpler. You start off just like a normal rope, but make a small loop in the first end. Then continue making the rope by first making it two-stranded. and turn around to make the third strand. Mm -hmm. 
but before reaching the end you turn the end onto itself to form the loop. Then run the third strand around the loop and fasten it as a fourth strand just like before. To conclude, if the ends of a rope looks like any of these, you can be pretty sure that it was made by hand and not using a rope walk or any more modern method. See below for sources.